married to Muhammad. Traditionally, the Prophet's birthday is treated as a somber event. But here in Morocco, in a city called Saleh, everybody gets together and plays music from their culture and dances and they light a giant candle. Wait, we celebrated this later last year. Did the Prophet change his birthday? No, it's the calendar. The Islamic calendar is lunar, 12 months, 354 days. That's 11 days shorter than the solar year. Which means Muslim holidays, like Muhammad's birthday or Ramadan, move forward by 11 days every single year. And you might be thinking, why not just fix it so it stays in the same season? Easy math, right? Not in the desert. No leaves falling, no snow melting. Just sand. Lots of sand. Judaism, lunar too. But they add extra months to keep holidays in the right season. Passover, always spring. Christianity, Easter's tied to spring equinox. Also season-based. Islam, nope. Ramadan's a traveler. It'll visit all four seasons on a 33-year cycle. And here's why. Remember, Islam began in the Arabian Peninsula, where People didn't organize life around harvest season the way farming cultures did. In the desert, the moon is the most obvious, reliable timekeeper. Always visible, always changing. So it made more sense to follow the lunar cycle than the solar seasons. So whether it's Ramadan or the Prophet's birthday, Muslim holidays are travelers. They follow the moon. Not the pumpkin spice latte calendar. Fun, ma. And lunar chaos.